A little while ago I reviewed this little um, buck boost converter and showed a couple of issues that it has. Although it's sold for use uh, in conjunction with solar panels to regulate the voltage, uh, it has a nasty trait whereby if the input voltage drops below about 3.3, suddenly the output voltage shoots up to around 14, uh, as I showed in the previous video. We go down a little further and something really strange happens. Suddenly the output voltage has jumped to 14 volts and it's now pulling 0.4 of an amp. This board below, although the layout um, seems to be pretty much identical, is based on a different chip. This is the XL6009 and this chip is an LM2587 uh, flyback. So will it behave any differently to, uh, to this guy? and be more suitable for our solar panel application. Let's take a look. As before, I've set the output voltage to 5 volts, which we can see on the meter here. As an example, source voltage 4.2, a lithium ion cell, for example, and it's just powering this little LED at around uh, 20 milliamps. So that's all well and good. Now, the issue was before when the voltage dropped, the output voltage suddenly jumped up to 14 volts and the current obviously increased uh, which would be no good whatsoever uh, for, for driving your, your circuit. Let's see what happens when we take this voltage down. Uh, by the way the LM2587 is rated from 3 volts up to 35 volts. So this was the danger point before where the su suddenly the output voltage shot up. Let's go down a bit further. 3.3, no problem. 3.2, no problem. 3.1, 3, which is the stated limit. 2.9, 8, 7. And at that point, it's just completely switched off, which is fine. So below the 2.7 volts, if we go down to zero, nothing untoward happens, as we would expect when we come back up. Nothing happens until we get to the set voltage and then it just comes straight back up on 5 volts. It's not really surprising if we increase the voltage now. It's in its buck regulator mode and there's no problem there. We can go up to some 30 odd volts and no problem at all. So the nasty vice that the XL609 device has um, is not the same on this device. So I would give it a thumbs up as a, as a solar uh, regulator. It's at practically the same price as this unit as well. The last thing I, I, I also tested on here was how much current um, it would take if we were boosting the 4.2 volts up to uh, say 24. So we'll take a quick look at that as well. So as in the previous video, I just want to show what happens if you're trying to boost a relatively small voltage up to a much higher voltage, 24 volts in this case, and uh, what effect that has on the uh, input current, because it is uh, very significant. So here I've connected up my electronic load and it's just set to 0.2 of an amp, 200 milliamps. So if we switch that on now, you can see the voltage remains constant, but we are drawing some 1.8 amps, which may surprise some people. So there is no such thing as a free lunch. Something has to give if you're boosting this up. The resultant penalty that you pay is the amount of current that it will draw. If we now go up to 230 milliamps, we can see that the input current is now some 2.3 amps. Now I think this board is rated up to 3 amps. We'll go up to 2.4. That's 2.7 amps on the input. And I think probably the maximum will be a quarter of an amp. Yes, so now the output voltage is falling slightly. We're pulling some 2.6 amps. So the board at this point is not a happy bunny. Actually, that's not too bad. It is obviously getting warm, but uh, by no means as warm as the 
XL6009 chip that I tested before. So it seems comfortable up to 0.24 of an amp. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if we're, if we're comparing this module, the XL6009, with the 2587, certainly for, for my purposes uh, in the solar project that I'm going to be doing, um, this is the guy for me. We don't need that strange problem that's suddenly jumping to, to 14 volts. I hope you found that uh, useful and will give it a like and subscribe.